She is known for her groundbreaking discovery in 1936 that the Earth has a solid inner core inside a molten outer core. She is recognized for her analysis of seismic wave measurements, which led to the acceptance of her explanation of Earth's core structure by other seismologists. Her name is Inga Lehmann. In the world of scientific exploration, there are certain individuals who leave an indelible mark on their field. Inga Lehmann, a Danish seismologist and geophysicist, is undoubtedly one of them. Born in 1888, Lehmann's groundbreaking discovery in 1936 forever changed our understanding of the Earth's core. At that time, seismologists believed that the Earth's core was a single molten sphere. However, careful measurements of seismic waves from earthquakes presented a perplexing challenge. The data simply did not align with this prevailing notion. It was in this moment that Lehman's brilliance shone through. Lehman meticulously analyzed the seismic wave measurements and arrived at a remarkable conclusion. Contrary to previous beliefs, she proposed that the Earth must possess a solid inner core within a molten outer core. This explanation perfectly accounted for the seismic waves observed in the measurements. Other seismologists rigorously tested and eventually accepted Lehman's groundbreaking theory, forever altering our understanding of our planet's structure. Inga Lehman's career in seismology began in 1925 when she became an assistant to geodesist Niels Erik Norland. Despite being paired with assistants unfamiliar with seismographs, Lehman took on the task of setting up observatories in Denmark and Greenland while studying seismology on her own. She even traveled abroad to learn from renowned experts like Bino Gutenberg, who made significant advancements in determining the distance to the core mantle boundary. In 1928, Lehman earned her degree in geodesy and became the head of the Department of Seismology at the Geodetical Institute of Denmark. She focused on improving the coordination and analysis of measurements from Europe's seismographic observatories, which ultimately paved the way for her groundbreaking discoveries. Lehman's most notable breakthrough came in her interpretation of P-wave arrivals. She was the first to suggest that these waves, which mysteriously appeared in the shadow of the Earth's core, were actually reflections from an inner core. Though it took until 1971 for her interpretation to be confirmed by computer calculations, leading seismologists like Bino Gutenberg and Charles Richter adopted her idea within a few years. Lehman's work, however, was hindered by the German occupation of Denmark during World War II. After the war, Lehman's contributions to the field continued. Although she was not appointed as a professor at Copenhagen University in 1952, she collaborated with Maurice Ewing and Frank Press in the United States, focusing on the Earth's crust and upper mantle. It was during this time that she made another significant discovery, a seismic discontinuity between depths of 190 and 250 kilometers, later named the Lehman discontinuity in her honor. Francis Birch, a fellow scientist, acknowledged Lehman's meticulous scrutiny of seismic records as a skill that no amount of computerization can fully replace. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.